everyone, Zach Pekoff here, and welcome back to another lesson video. Today, I will be showing you how to round decimals to the nearest hundredth. So let's jump right into the video. Okay, so in the last video, we learned about how to round decimals to the nearest tenth. Now in this video, we're going to be learning about how to round them to the nearest hundredth. So in a moment, we're going to be doing an IXL where we're going to be learning about how to round decimals to the nearest hundredth. And we're going to locate the digit to the right of the key digit, which is the number we're rounding to, and asking ourselves if it is 5 or bigger. If it is bigger than 5, we're going to add 1, but if it's not bigger than 5, we're going to leave the number alone. So let's try a few problems together. Alright, so this first problem reads, what is 8.915 rounded to the nearest hundredth? Okay, so in this problem we are given the number 8.915, and if we look, the number 1 is the key digit that we're going to be looking at, so that's the number that we're going to be rounding to. And if we look to the right of the number 1, we have the number 5, and the number 5 is bigger, so that tells me that this number is going to round up, and it will become 8.92. So, the answer for this problem is 8.92, because we took a look at the key digit and saw that the number next to it was 5 and bigger, so we rounded it up, and it became 8.92. And 8.92 is 8.915, rounded to the nearest hundredth. And that is how to solve this problem. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this next problem reads, what is 8.385 rounded to the nearest hundredth? All right, so in this problem, we are given the number 8.385. And if we look, the number eight is the key digit that we're gonna be looking at. So that's the number that we're gonna be rounding to. And if we look to the right of the number eight, we have the number five, and the number five is bigger. So that tells me that this number is going to round up and it will become 8.39. So the answer for this problem is 8.39 because we took a look at the key digit and saw that the number next to it was five and bigger, so we rounded it up and it became 8.39. And 8.39 is 8.385 rounded to the nearest hundredth. And that is how to solve this problem. So let's hop on to another one. All right, so this next problem reads, what is 2.415 rounded to the nearest hundredth? Okay. So in this problem, we are given the number 2.415, and if we look, the number 1 is the key digit that we're going to be looking at, so that's the number that we're going to be rounding to. And if we look to the right of the number 1, we have the number 5, and the number 5 is bigger, so that tells me that this number is going to round up, and it will become 2.42. So the answer for this problem is 2.42, because we took a look at the key digit and saw that the number next to it was 5 and bigger, so we rounded it up and it became 2.42. And 2.42 is 2.415 rounded to the nearest hundredth. And that is how to solve this problem. So I'm going to be doing a couple more with you guys. Okay, so this next problem reads, what is 5.993 rounded to the nearest hundredth? All right, so in this problem, we are given the number 5.993. And if we look, the number nine is the key digit that we're gonna be looking at. So that's the number that we're gonna be rounding to. And if we look to the right of the number nine, we have the number three. And the number 3 is less than 5, so that tells me that we're just going to leave this number alone. And it will become 5.99. So, the answer for this problem is 5.99, because we took a look at the key digit and saw that the number next to it was less than 5, so that told me that this number is just going to stay as it is, which is 5.99. And 5.99 is 5.993, rounded to the nearest hundredth. And that is how to solve this problem. So I'm going to be doing... One more, you guys. Alrighty, so this last problem reads, what is 71.474 rounded to the nearest hundredth? Okay, so in this problem, we are given the number 71.474. And if we look, the number seven is the key digit that we're going to be looking at. So that's the number that we're going to be rounding to. And if we look to the right of the number seven, we have the number four. And the number four is less than five. So that tells me that we're just going to leave this number alone. And it will become 71.47. So the answer for this problem is 71.47 because we took a look at the key digit and saw that the number next to it was less than five. So that told me that this number was just going to stay as it was, which was 71.47. And 71.47 is 71.474 rounded to the nearest hundred. And that is how to solve this problem. I hope you found this video helpful and useful. If you did and are a new member to my channel, then please be sure to leave a like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe as well. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!